Today, we're gonna be talking about storms. Yes, that's right. More storms might be coming to Brookhaven, and I know it sounds crazy. Before, I was talking about a volcano a little while ago being right there because of the earthquakes. But what if I told you we might be getting tornadoes, crazy, crazy windstorms, or even hurricanes for that matter? We already have the floods. We already have the snow. We technically already have the blizzards. Why don't we have a hurricane? But we're going to be talking about that all today, guys, because this is going to be a crazy, crazy video. Remember to watch to the end because you never know what's going to happen. While you're at it, leave a comment below with what storm you hope is added to the game. This thing also might include hail as well. Think of little golf balls flying down, smashing in the ground. They can't hurt anything or destroy anything, but it'll be pretty cool. But also on top of that, subscribe. Yes, when I'm stuttering, that means subscribe. Leave a like. And as usual, remember if you're using Robux or buying them in general, use star code Gremlins. You can use that Robux to buy yourself a premium code if you really, really, really want to. You know, by code, I mean Game Pass. Yeah. But enough of self selfish promotion. We're going to be talking about crazy storms today. We're not on my private server, but on the private server, we can't really control a lot of the storms. We can do some flooding here and there. But in the new update, I am really hoping we can control every storm around the map. So we can make it thunder and lightning, which is pretty cool, but that's on a private server. So we're not going to really worry about the private server controls for right now. But I'm really hoping we get to build to do earthquakes, etc, etc. I find it really weird, though, that we can't actually do earthquakes on a private server. It's really weird, almost as if the earthquakes are trying to tell us something and they actually link to something else. That's what I'm starting to think. But we're, we're loading a house right now just to show you guys one little thing. We're going to load in the newest house because it makes the most sense. Why not just load in the house that we're currently the updates about and just move on from there. So we got this house and we got a bunch of disasters. Yes, that's right. We have a disaster pack, but what if we had a server disaster pack? Yeah, that's right. We have all of these right here. Think of the whole entire server having this, but we're not here to talk about that in particular. We have earthquakes right here. We have winds. If we turn on the winds, I'll show you guys something. We already know about the flooding. We actually literally already have flooding around Brookhaven, so it makes sense. But yes, think of this being around all of Brookhaven with a storm flying down on top of you. And on top of that, you have some flooding action going on, and it makes it maybe... Maybe, because none of the storms right now actually do anything. But what if it can actually affect you? But no, 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 no. I highly doubt they're going to be doing that. So we're going to be turning this off. None of the storms as of now can affect you. But think about this. Crazy, crazy lightning storms happening around Brookhaven during a hurricane or a tornado. Also, by the way, one of the reasons why I think a tornado is coming or even high wind storms is because of this right here. Uh, like... Seeing they added this to the game kind of makes me feel like maybe they have something planned. Some new disasters or something. I don't know. But that's really cool. I kind of wish this happened all around Brookhaven, but I have yet to see a thunderstorm all my time here. I've actually got an earthquake to happen. That was pretty exciting. Didn't think it was going to happen, but it did one day. Maybe not going to happen today. And what the? Why is this just sitting here like that? I am so thoroughly confused. Why is only just literally as armor truck do they really not want any of their stuff stolen when they go to a store or something that's one way to do it you don't have to worry about getting broken into when you go to the mall like some people have to worry about but okay back to the storms not worrying about that truck over there okay so we got earthquakes recently which is really really cool we um but i really feel like maybe they will add tornadoes because we have a lot of flat land around us and our tornado just forming will be really cool. I don't think it's really going to affect anything. Because remember the tornadoes, you don't see cars bouncing up and down. I don't think the tornado is actually going to lift cars up. If it could, that would be a very cool thing. And when you get the storm done, you'll see debris on the ground or something like that. Which will lead into street cleaner. Which will probably be part of the update. Which will be like one of these. You can actually have like a street cleaner that can clean up debris on the floor. But it also means it can clean up random items on the ground too. That will be pretty cool. But other than that, a lightning storm would be really sweet to have. Hurricane would be really awesome to see. Like, it would be just in general nice to see. Because hurricanes around here, tropical storms in general, hurricane and tropical storm are basically the same exact thing. But basically, that would be really, really cool to see in-game. Because we already have earthquakes. We got random fires that are happening. Literally, he's adding everything in. So it's only a matter of time. And by the way, when I'm talking about this right now, this doesn't mean this update's going to drop this Friday. This is just something that I'm noticing that might be added in the near future. Like right now, we have a house fire reported. 
Just think of how in the future we have more storms. The storms can actually cause issues to happen around the, the whole entire ma map. Like one of lightning strikes down at a store, store gets lit on fire. Lightning strikes a house, house gets it set on fire. That would be really, really cool. But also that would also mean that a lot of stuff is would change in the game. So I don't think they'll actually cause fires to happen like that. But I really do feel like the storms will be happening more. There'll be some flooding stuff on private servers. You would probably have more storm controls. Like I really feel they should have a second button when you pull up like the the the, the controls. You can have one that actually says disaster. Actually, hold up. It's actually easier just to show you guys. They tried to explain in great detail what do I I could have went to 13. It was literally open. But I'll show you guys more easier by clicking here. Like this. You have this menu pop up. Like you actually have it in your list of things, like in your pack thing, and it shows disaster pack. And it might not have all of these, but it's realized, guys, there is extra rows like tornado, hurricane can go right here. But think about having a city-wide version of this. It would be amazing. But it would only be for private servers. That's the thing. But I'll obviously talk about this in the future, like private server theme packs and whatnot. But as of now. These are things that public servers would have access to. And if people have disaster pack, probably a part of that as well for them for their houses. But this is stuff that's for public stuff only that I'm mainly talking about right now. Like maybe where we have almost every store can do a fire now. So that's pretty cool. We have the fire trucks right there with the ambulance. We literally, I think you have everything you need for like a disaster situation to happen. So it kind of works out to its benefit. So we, what we need now is hurricanes, hailstorms would be pretty cool. Seeing a little like golf balls flying down, like take, um, seek shelter, must get indoors, that type of deal. Um, we have earthquakes already. Meteor shower, I don't think it's gonna happen. As ONG actually even said, volcanoes in the future could also be a possibility because this baby over here, if like I said already, if, and early in this video, the fact is that we can't control the earthquakes in a private server kind of says a lot saying that maybe the earthquakes are leading to something that he's trying to tell us and maybe the earthquakes actually lead to this being a volcano up here and that will be a very crazy experience and by the way if we go to the subway i'm not sure if this is the one that has it but some of them have it and it's actually on a thing majiki yes this right here the lavacation basically saying like hey guys there might be actually a vacation thing near a volcano Giving us two separate updates, I guess. I don't know. But basically, earthquakes not being controlled, it's kind of weird. Like, we can control a lot of stuff on private servers. Not every aspect of a storm, but a bunch of stuff in general. And I just think in general that it's pretty cool. But we got uh, this, this possible volcano over here. We got earthquakes. We don't know what they're doing. Now we're going to have brand new storms. You know we're going to have in the near future. Tornadoes and whatnot. Might be disaster pack only, which I'm kind of hoping not. Moment Coleman is like citywide and it'll make the really cool thing. And what is going on here? Why are they just randomly throwing this out? What is happening? Oh my gosh, this is not me. Like, I, I don't have my thing out. Like, if I bring my, my prop bag out and do this, get rid of my props, this is not me. This is in preset for you guys to see. And me go, oh my god, I can't believe I did that. No, no. But yeah, that would be pretty cool having like crazy storms. Or even like, uh, like I, I say again, thunderstorms would be great to have high wind days would be crazy if i don't think that's already in the game i don't remember seeing any high winds maybe i'm wrong maybe there are already high winds and i feel like in the future in that case if we get storm stuff we might actually get a storm chaser van which would be really cool It'd be kind of like a decked out like truck like this maybe like i'm just gonna load one in in general just to show you guys wait why there we go i was like why aren't you loading in my man oh wait it's be really because of the skateboard. But yeah, think of this being decked out. So wait, actually, no, this is the worst. Worst example I could use, probably. Uh, we need we need something uh, larger. I, was, I would say this, but this one would not do the job we need. Uh, I guess we... Where is the van? The one thing I want to show you guys for a storm... There it is. This right here being retrofitted. You know, maybe it'll be, have a new form. Like right now it has... Wait, this one doesn't transform, does it? I don't think it does, but if we can click the side of it, that just lets me type on the side. Yeah. But think about, like, we could change this one to, like, a Storm Chaser van or any other type of van. That type of deal. Like, think of something like that happening. That will be really cool, getting okay? multiple vans for this 
in general would be really nice. We're getting a lot of new cars in general. So Storm Chaser 1 would make sense getting especially tornadoes and what stuff in the game. And that will be awesome having multiple tornadoes with a form in one map. But yes, guys, this was literally just a theory. A Brookhaven theory. Yeah, I literally am using that now. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching again. If you made it to the end, thank you again for watching till the end. Until next time, bye, everyone.